Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to make sweet potato patties. Cue the music. All right, well, thanks a lot for joining us again. If this is your first time joining though, please do me a favor, go down, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, we clicked on this video to have me show you how to make sweet potato patties. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's head down here and see what our ingredients are. We're gonna start out with a couple of medium-sized sweet potatoes, a couple of tablespoons of butter, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. I got one package of panko breadcrumbs, one egg. We're gonna mix that up with a little bit of water. Then we got oil, of course, and what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna shallow fry these patties after we've made them. Let's get started. All right, first of all, we've got our sweet potatoes. I cooked these until they were completely done on the inside. You wanna make sure they're not hard at all because you wanna actually mash these up really well, and if they're clumpy, with hard bits in there, they're not gonna make a very tasty um, fritter or patty of what we're doing today. So get it out of the skin. And if it is cooked all the way, it'll pop right out of that skin while it's still warm too. You just wanna get all the potato out and into a bowl large enough for all your ingredients, which is just gonna be the butter, salt, pepper, and the uh, brown sugar. You wanna make sure you don't get any of the skin in there unless you are one for soluble fiber. This is still kind of warm, so it's a little bit troublesome. Let it cool down just a little bit before you start playing with it. Make sure we got all of the skin out of there. Double check, good, good to go. Now I'm gonna cheat and use this butter, not the butter that was in the picture. Picture because I just wanted that for the show. Butter in there, salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix this all up first before we add the sugar. Okay, I'm gonna just add that sugar. All the recipe will be down in the description box below, so feel free to check that out. And what you want to do is you want to just mash this up really, really, really good and blend all those ingredients together. And then an important step, right now we're going to let it cool in the refrigerator for about 40 minutes. Now while that's cooling, we've got our breading station we're going to set that up. I have got the breadcrumbs here. Let's do it this way because it's going left to right. I got a little bit of water in the egg, and I'm just gonna make a mess there. I'm just gonna whip it up like that so it's all ready to go. Now I've got my station all set up. I've got the, the egg wash, I've got the breadcrumbs, and I've got a place to put the patties when I'm done with them before we take this plate of them over to our, our oil in the pan and we start shallow frying them. So we're waiting for the potato mixture to cool, and when we are sure that that's cooled where we want it to. We'll transition back into making the patties and then we'll start doing our breading. All right, we've got our potato mixture has cooled down enough to where it's not hot anymore and we can just start making our patties. Now with this you can make, the yield will change, so I didn't put the yield for this down in the description box with the recipe, but uh, use whatever scoop you want, use your hands. If you want uniformity, it's better to use a scoop. Um, but we're gonna just take what we've pulled out of here and we're gonna make little patties. You want them a little bit flat. So we're gonna go about that size right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this mixture and then we'll start breading. All right, as you can see, I got about seven patties out of there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start setting up our station. You gotta make sure you have a plate for the finished ones. I'm gonna go from this side into the egg wash. And then I just want to take the patties and cover them completely with the panko. Kind of press down a little bit if I have to. Get that panko to adhere to it. And just 
continue this step until all the sweet potato patties have been covered with the egg wash and the panko breadcrumbs. So I'll finish these up and I'll meet you over at the pan. All right, as always, we try to show you the mise en place before we start cooking. I've got our pan, the oil's in there. I've got our patties all ready to go into the oil. I've got a, a spatula to flip them. I don't have a plate with a uh, paper towel on there for lined for when they're done, but I will get that. And of course, the crock pot in back. That's actually my dinner, and that's gonna be a show one day too. We're test driving that recipe tonight for dinner to see how it works out. All right, I'm gonna get a plate going for when these are done. I'm gonna throw a little bit of the breadcrumb into the oil and we're gonna see that crackle and pop and we'll know it's time to start doing our patties. All right, now I got our plate for when they're done. All right, from our friend there, we can see that it is ready to go, the oil that is. So I'm just gonna start dropping our patties in. And we're just going to shallow fry these as opposed to deep frying them. So get that going like that and we'll flip them over in about a minute or two and look at the color to see what it is. We want a nice golden kind of brown color crust on there. And remember that oil, I'm using vegetable oil. Uh, you can use whatever oil you want, but I would use a, a neutral flavored oil because you basically just want to transfer the heat and uh, you don't want the flavor to overwhelm the patty. All right, it's been about a minute. I'm just gonna look at the one on this side. That's nice. That's what you want about that color right there, especially on the edge, that's beautiful. Make sure you don't flip it over in the oil. You can use the other patties to kind of help you out when it comes to that. But, all right, I'm gonna let these go about another minute. Then I'm gonna plate them up, take some awesome photos of them for social media. We're gonna put those photos into this timeline with some really groovy music. And then we're gonna come back and give these a try. So enjoy those pictures and enjoy the music. some brown sugar around it. I got a balsamic vinaigrette around it. I got some sriracha and a garlic aioli um, and some syrup. I wanted some contrasting flavors in there for when we take bites. Each bite will have something that complements or contradicts the flavor profiles. So here's one with a little bit of sriracha on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get that crunchy sweet potato flavor, a little bit of sweetness from that brown sugar in there. That's a mint on top by the way too. Now I got the garlic aioli. Gives it a nice contrast. The sweetness of that mayonnaise and the creaminess of the mayonnaise goes well to offset the crunch. A little bit of that vinaigrette too. Yeah, counterbalances that sweetness. That crunch is just awesome. I like sriracha. I'm gonna get one more. Mm. That's really good with the sriracha. I hate to say that, but I love it. The hot sauce does wonders to it. But the sweet potato patty by itself is incredible. It's got the great flavor, perfectly seasoned. Uh, it's cooked great and it's got that crunchiness that is just awesome. So I hope you give this a try. It's really easy to do. It's really simple. Most of the stuff probably is in your cupboards. 
You might have to go out and get some panko. But other than that, try it out. It's a different way to make sweet potatoes. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out that description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already, and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself, thanks a lot for watching, we'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye bye.